It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Jets and the Pack, and it comes your way next. We're at the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the New York Jets and the Green Bay Packers. This one fielded at the five. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, not, so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that tells me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down now. McNeil, tough running, but not a lot to show for it. They stopped him shy of the 25. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third play here. This opening drive is up against a third and five. From the gun, Pennington. And that is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here's the Jets punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, we're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, this shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to find that big tackle through the hole. 
ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. From the shotgun to give to Jones. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flushed out right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Second down at seven. He'll drop to throw. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher, third down and nine. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. Escaping the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Amazing, perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. down and a pretty good one of five yards so make it second and five Brandon five yards on that run let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage and they did for a significant chunk of yardage after the pickup of five here's second and five And they'll run on the inside handoff. And a short gain here as he gets it up early to about the six. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. No score after one on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. showed it off on that one. And you'd think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks. And I think they caught the defense flat-footed as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there 
and it ended up being a big play. And the final readout on Next Gen Stats, remarkable. That ball traveling close to 80 yards in the air. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now a 7-0 game. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Throwing here to start the. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Boom! They'll That's wind up losing it. eight on the sack there, and it's second down. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, and this time it's going to come from the middle linebacker because watching the linemen, it seemed to me that they thought he was going to drop back into pass protection, but he surprised them and came on the blitz instead and had a pretty clear run to the quarterback. Polluting the pressure right. All in all, no gain on the play. that will bring up third. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. He'll look to throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Pennington. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going Good out. Boy, let's go. Let's go. It's a game of when you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. They'll try the left side. McNeil. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. For us, we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. 
That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And to give this time to the tailback. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw on second down. Pennington. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. We play to win. Let it go. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. They do not score, fellas. They do not score. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Bring it! A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And they'll get him down right around the 16. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Operating from the gun, Pennington. And the throw there going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. And this one is right through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And he takes it to the house. It's a full recovery for a Jet touchdown. 
But that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You forced the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. Extra point attempt to come here. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. You can't block me. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. By 52, by 50. They'll set up to throw. Toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you're doing like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. You can't block me. You can't block me. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, torn back across his body. Picked off at the 35. And to the 40 yard line, that's where the return stops. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Throwing to start the drive. Pennington, quick hitter here, it's complete. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. To throw on second down, Pennington. 
toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, to me, there is no question about the intent there, and I think he was a little fortunate that the penalty flag didn't come out for grounding. But he'll get away with it and get another shot on third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, Pennington. And this is going to be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Here's the Jets punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Packers bring pressure and they block it. And they will have the football right at about the 32-yard line. That's a terrific punt block and that has to set them up in a position to try and get more points, don't you think, this time frame? Absolutely, and what a momentum booster that could be into the lockers. Without a doubt, they score here, they sprint into the locker room feeling really, really good about themselves. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Second and five. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Back to throw again. Got a man open. It's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams in the final seconds of the first half. And the Packers are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception. This drive, the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounced back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25.
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from that first half for the Jets. And there were a few factors as to why they built this good size advantage, but the rushing numbers were not all that amazing. We'll see if they can pick it up in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Packers, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three, and they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They're going to look to throw. It's caught here by Adams. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. They'll look to throw now on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Second down at four. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, Sharp's got it complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. A give to Jones. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll set up a throw. 
He's got his man sharp, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in the yard. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll go again to Jones. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game. And this won't help things either. A loss on that play. Now Mason Crosby for the Packers field goal try. And Crosby puts it through. And within a touchdown at 17 to 10. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They can salvage three out of the they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Taking it about the one. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. First down, McNeil, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On second down, Riggins. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here and we get set to begin quarter number four.
the Jets on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Operating from the gun, Pennington. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. They'll get seven out of it, but it brings up a fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's the Jets punter now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. And yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. A little bit of space there for the first down run, as that's going to get him about five yards. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense. Pick it up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Five yards remain on second down. Again, it's Jones. 58 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Hey, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw. Got a man right side, it's Sharp. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need, down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now back to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Second and 10. Looking to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Packers! A big play there! 43 yards! And the Packers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. We saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield, and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And that is absolutely demoralizing for a defense because you've got the offense on the ropes. It's third down. You're trying to get off the field and then wham. You have a letdown in the secondary, and you give up a big one. Don't 
forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Too deep. Here comes a return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Off play action, Pennington. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite 40. Big yardage that time for the Jets. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, Less can become more, and it was right there. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On second down now, McNeil. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 30. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. By the way, you'd be looking at about 47 yards from here as they come up on a third down. The play fake, Pennington. He's going to air one out. Got a man. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. 30 yards. And the Jets have taken the lead. Let's go. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counterpunch all throughout. And that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, Who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? Now for the point after. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drive spanned five plays, and it ends with a Jet touchdown. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So the Packers down by seven, 221, the time left. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two minute warning as they've got it first and 10. Come out throwing here on first down. Throw left side complete to Sharp. And they work this well upfield across the 35. Two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. Back to throw. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. To the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Sheldon Rankins abruptly ends that play with a sack. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. They'll look to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well of time there, and now fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And is it a touchdown? No signal. No, they say incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Jets are going to get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. 
Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three Boom. yards, but no yeah, more than that. Baby. Second down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. Here's the Jets punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And that will hit and continue on out of bounds. We're certainly not going to see a better punt than that. Definitely taking a chance because if that thing clips the pylon, it comes out to the 20, but instead it goes out of bounds at the one-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short of yep. the end zone who comes up and in 